everyone, it's your friend Clarissa Gonzalez and today we are here to teach you how to weigh things on a digital scale. We're talking about how to weigh your yogurt or oatmeal or maybe you may have to weigh some spinach. Anything that you actually cook or prepare can be weighed using a digital scale. This digital scale I bought at Walmart and basically it's just a regular digital scale and what you do is you set it down and you zero it out. Once we zero it out, we actually take the container where we're going to be putting the ingredients that we're weighing on top of the digital scale. And at the same time, what we're going to do is we're going to zero that out so that we don't actually take the weight of the actual container into consideration. So we'll go ahead and zero that out. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the actual weight for example, on this scale, it actually has it by pounds and ounces. So it actually calls for 40 grams of dried oatmeal for because we're doing a half a cup right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a grams to ounces converter because I don't want to have to spend my time here multiplying. So what I'll do is convert 40 grams into ounces and that's actually 1.41 ounces. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to do 1.4. That's the accuracy that it'll give us, 1.4. And perhaps with this one, just a little bit more. That actually gives us 1.4 ounces. We're going to do the same thing with our yogurt. We're going to measure half a cup. In this instance, half a cup is 113 and a half grams. If you notice in the back of the nutritional label, it says that one cup is 227 grams. Half of that, 113 and a half. So what we do is we convert 113 and a half grams into ounces on our grams to ounces converter, and that gives us 4.0, so that's exactly four ounces. 113 and a half grams, four ounces. So what we do is we actually take the yogurt and we start measuring until we reach four ounces. That's 3.6, 3.9, just a little bit more, 4.0. So you see, even though it's half a cup, we're talking about 113.5 grams of the yogurt, whereas half a cup of oatmeal was only 40 grams. This makes a big difference when we're trying to calculate the macros. See, those of you that have actually sent out emails to have myself calculate your, your, your meal plans, it's very important to follow thoroughly the amount of grams of proteins, grams of fat, and grams of carbohydrates that I've given you because depending on your specific weight goals, that's how we've actually tailored. So, so you may actually have a plan that calls for say 135 grams of protein and your next door neighbor might have a plan that calls for 150 grams of protein depending on your weight goals. So everything is a little bit different. However, the way that we measure things and the way that we count things is the same. This particular scale is very thin and so it allows us to take it with us in our purse. As far as the men, a purse. The convenience of weighing everything is that we actually have the accuracy. So if we have a program like MyFitnessPal, we can input the amount of grams that we've actually eaten. So, so when we go to MyFitnessPal, what we can actually do is either scan, using our smartphone, the label here, or we can actually look for it under our yogurt brand, and it'll actually tell us how many proteins, fats, and carbs we're actually ingesting, but what we have to do is put the amount of grams that we're actually eating so that it can give us the right amount 
of macros. So if we're only eating one fourth of a cup, then we are going to only add one fourth of the grams that are actually listed on the label. If you still have questions about how to properly weigh the things that we're going to be eating, please email me at clarissa13 at me.com. And thank you for watching us. I'm your friend Clarissa Gonzalez and this was your tip of the week.